chapter, Jeremiah chapter 1, report from Jerusalem. The words of Jeremiah, the son of Halalai, and it came to pass in the month of Shilu, in the twentieth year, as I was in Shishan, the palace, that, that Hanai, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that I had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in great affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Jeremiah's prayer. And it came to pass when I heard those words, these words, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And I said, I beseech thee, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and terrible God that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thy ear now be attentive and thy eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee. Both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments which thou commandest thy servant Moses. Remember, I beseech thee, the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, If he ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But ye, ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments, and do them, though there were of those you cast out unto the utter part of the heaven. Yet will I gather them from thence, and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are thy servants and thy people, whom thou has redeemed by the great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thy ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant and to the prayer of the servants who desire to fear thy name and prosper. I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. Chapter 2 Jeremiah sent to Judah, and it came to pass in the month Nisan, in the twentieth year of Arxaxus the king, that wine was before him. And I took up the wine and gave it unto the king. Now I had not been before time sat in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, Why is thy countenance sad? seeing that art not sick, this is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was very sore afraid, and said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Thy should not, why should not my countenance be sad, when the city, the peace place, of my father's shelter lieth waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire. Then the king said unto me, For what dost thou make request? So I prayed to the God of heaven. And I said unto the king, If I if I please the king, and if I if thy servant have found favor in thy sight, 
that thou wouldest send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father, Selfters, that I may build it. And the king said unto me, the queen also sitting by him, for how long shall the journey be? And when wilt thou return? So it pleased the king to send me. And I sent and I set him a time. Moreover, I said unto the king, If it please the king, let letters be given me to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come into Judah. And a letter unto Asra, the keepers of the king's forest, that he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, which appertain to the house, and for the wall of the city, and for the house that I shall enter into, and take, and the king granted me according to the good hand of my God upon me. Neremiah inspects Jerusalem's walls. Then I came to the governors beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. When Sanballat the Harnite and Tobiah the servant Damanite heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days, and arose in the night I and some few men with me, neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem, neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon well, and to the dung port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain and to the king's pool, but there was no place for the beast that was under me to pass. Then went, then went I up to the night by the brook and viewed the wall turned back and entered by the gate of the valley and so returned. And the rulers knew not whither I went and or what I did. Neither had I, I as yet told it to the Jews, nor to the priests, nor to the nobles, nor to the rulers, nor to the rest that did the work. Then said I unto them, Ye see the distress that we are in how Jerusalem lieth waste, and the gates thereof are burnt with fire. Come and let us build up the wall of Jerusalem, that we be no more a reproach. Then I told them of the hand of my God, which was good upon me, as also the king's words that he had spoken unto me. And they said, Let us rise up and build. So they strengthened their hands for this good work. But when Salabella the Hornite and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite and the Jezim the Arabian heard it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, What is this thing that ye do? Ye, ye, will ye rebel against the king? Then answered I them. I said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we, sh his servants, will rise and build. But ye have no 
portion nor right nor memorial in Jerusalem. Chapter 3 Rebuilding the Wall Then Elizahib, the high priest, rose up with his brethren, the priests, and they built it the sheep gate. They sanctified it and set up the doors of it. Even unto the tower of Mia, they sanctified it unto the tower of Hanim. And next unto him built it the men of Jericho, and next to them built it Zachar, the son of Amri. But the fish gate did the sons of Hashem built who also laid the beams thereof, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof. And next unto them repaired Merimoth, the son of Urijah, the son of Kaz, and next unto them repaired Meslam, the son of Bersha, the son of Me Meshabil. And the next unto them repaired Zadok, the son of Bannon. And next unto them the Tekites repaired, but their nobles put not their necks to the work of their Lord. Moreover, the old gate repaired Johanda, the son of Pasha, and Muslim, no, Meshlam the son of Basadai. They laid the beams thereof and set up the doors thereof and the locks thereof and the bars thereof. And next unto them repaired Malatiah, the Gabonite, and Jadon, the Mananite, the men of Gibon and of Mizpah, unto the throne of the governor on this side the river. Next unto him repaired Uzla, the son of Herodiah, of the goldsmiths. Next unto him also repaired Hannah, the son of one of the apicaries. And they fortified Jerusalem unto the broad wall. And next unto them repaired Rapiah, the son of Hur, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem. And next unto them repaired Jedi, the son of Herobim, even over against his house. And next unto him repaired Hasta, the son of Hasbana, Malajai, the son of Haram, and Hashbab, the son of Pash Moab, repaired the other piece and the tower of the furnaces. And next unto them repaired Shahum, the son of Halanesh, the ruler of the half part of Jerusalem. He and his daughters, the valley gate repaired Hanum, and the inhabitants of Zan Zanoah. They built it and set, it up, set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, the bars thereof, and a thousand cubits on the wall onto the dung gate. But the dung gate repaired Malachi, the son of Reshap, the ruler of part of Besamon. He built it and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bar thereof. But the gate of the fountain repaired Shalom, the son of Kozat, the ruler of part Mizpah. He built it and covered it, and set up the doors thereof, the locks thereof, and the bars thereof, and the wall of the pool of Siloam, by the king's garden, and onto the stairs that go down from the city of David. After him repaired not Nehemiah, the son of Azbuk, the ruler of the half part of Belzer, unto the place over against 
the sculptures of David and to the pool that was made and unto the house of the mighty. After him repaired the Levites, Rahum the son of Bani. Next unto him repaired Hashbah, the ruler of the half part of Chaldean in his part. After him repaired their brethren, Baphi the son of Hannah, the ruler of the half part of Kila. And next to him repaired Ezar the son of Joshua, the ruler of Mizpah. Another piece over against the going up to the armory of at turning of the wall. After him, Baruch, the son of Habai, earnestly repaired the other piece from the turning of the wall onto the door of the house of Isab, the high priest. <coughs> After him repaired Merimoth, the son of Urijah, the son of Kaz, other another piece from the door of the house of Yosab, even to the end of the house of Yosab. And after him repaired the priests, the men of the plain. After him repaired Benjamin and Hashab over against their house. After him repaired Azra, the son of Mesa, the son of Anna, by his house. After him repaired Bina, the son of Hadan, another piece from the house of Azra into the turning of the wall, even onto the corner. Pala, the son of Uzai, over against the turning of the well, the wall, and the tower which lieth out from the king's high house, that was by the court of the prison. After him, Bazadai, the son of Parash. Moreover, the Ninmans dwelt in Ophlan, onto the palace over against the water gate toward the east and the tower that lieth out. After them, the Taikites repaired another piece over against the great tower that lieth out, even onto the wall of Ophel. From above, the horse gate repaired the priests, every one over against his house. After them repaired Zadok, the son of Immer over against his house. After him repaired also Samai, the son of Shishina, the keeper of the east gate. After him repaired Hanan, the son of Shealimiah, and Hanan, the sixth son of Zappa, another piece. After him repaired Mazalam, the son of Bereth, over against his chamber. After him repaired Malshai, the goldsmith's son, unto the place of Naminus, and of the merchants over against the gate of Mecca, and to the going up of the corner, and between the going up of the corner unto the sheep gate repaired the goldsmith and the merchants. Chapter 4 Opposition to the Work But it came to pass that when Salabalah heard that we built the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spoke before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do we feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? And Tobiah and the Amorite was by him and he said, Even that which they built, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Hear, O our God, for we are 
despise and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee for they have provoked thee to anger before the builders so built we the wall all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof for the people have a mind to work but it came to pass that when Sanballat and Tobiah the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Asadites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up and that the breaches began to be stopped then they were very wroth and conspired all of them together to come and to fight against Jerusalem and to hinder it. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. And Judah said, The strength of the bearers of burdens is decayed, and there is much rubbish, so that we are not able to build the wall. And our adversary said, They shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them, and slay them, and cause the work to cease. And it came to pass that when the Jews which dwelt by them came, they said unto us ten times, From all places whence ye shall return unto us, they will be upon you. Therefore said I in the lower places, behind the wall, and on the higher places, I even set the people after their families, with their swords, their spears, their bows. And I looked, and rose up, and said unto the nobles, and to the rulers, and to the rest of the people, Be not ye afraid of them, remember the Lord, which is great and terrible and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your houses. The work resumes, and it came to pass when our enemies heard that it was known unto us, and God had brought their attention, their counsel to Nah, that we returned all of us to the wall, every one unto his work. And it came to pass from the time forth that the half of my servants wrought in the work, and the other half of them held both the spears, the shields, and the bows, the bows, and the harbingers. And the rulers were blocked behind all the house of Judah. They which built it on the wall, and they that bear burdens with those that laden every one with one of his hands wrought in the work and with the other hand held a weapon for the builders everyone had his sword girded by his side and so built it and he that sounded the trumpet was by me and I said unto the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people the work is great and large and we are separated upon the wall one far from another. In what place therefore ye hear the sound of the trumpet? Resort ye thither unto us. Our God shall fight for us. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spears from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. Likewise, at the same time said I unto the people, let every one with his servant lodge within Jerusalem, that in the night they may be a guard to us, and labor on the day. So neither I, nor my brethren, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard which followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that everyone put them off for washing. 
chapter 5. And there was a great cry of the people and their wives against their brethren, the Jews. For there were that said, We are sons and our daughters are many. Therefore we take up corn for them that we may eat and live. Some also there were that said, we have mortgaged our lands, vineyards, and houses, that we might buy corn because of the dirt, dot, dirt. There were also that said, We have borrowed money for all the king's tribute and that upon our lands and vineyards. Yet now our flesh is as the flesh of our brethren, our children as their children. And lo, we bring into bondage our sons and our daughters to be servants and some of our daughters are brought onto bondage already neither is it in our power power to redeem them for other men have our lands and vineyards and i was very angry when i heard their cry and their words. Then I consulted with myself, and I rebuked the nobles and the rulers, and said unto them, Ye exact usury, every one of his brother. And I set a great assembly against them. And I said unto them, We after our ability have redeemed our brethren the Jews, which were sold unto the heathen. And will ye even sell your brethren? Or shall they be sold unto us? Then they their peace and found nothing to answer. Also I said, It is not good that ye do, ought ye not to walk in the fear of our God, because of the reproach of the heathen our enemies. I likewise and my brethren and my servants might exact of them money and corn. I pray you, let us leave off this your Surrey. Restore, I pay, pray you to them. Even this day, their lands, their vineyards, their olive yards, and their houses. Also, the hundred part of the money and of the corn, the wine and the oil that ye exact of them. Then said they, We will restore him, them, and will require nothing of them. So will we do as thou sayest. Then I called the priests and took an oath of them, that they should do according to this promise. Also I shook my lap and said, So God, shake out every man from his house and from his labor that perform it not the pro his promise even thus be he shaken out and empty and all the congregation said amen and, and praise the Lord that the people didn't according to his promise Nehemiah's generosity moreover from the time that I was appointed to be their governor in the land of Judah from the 20th year even unto the 2 and 30th year of Artaxerxes, the king that is 12 years I and my brethren have not eaten the bread of the governor but the former governors that had been before we me were chargeable on, unto the people and had taken of them bread and wine besides forty shekels of silver yes even their servants bear rule over the people but so did not I because of the fear of God yes also I continued in the work of this wall neither bought we any land and all my servants were gathered thither unto the work. 
Moreover, there were at my table a hundred and fifty of the Jews and rulers, because those that came unto us from among the heathen that are about us. Now that which was prepared for me daily was the one ox and six choice sheep. Also fowls were prepared for me, and once in ten days store of all stores of wine. Yet for all this required not I the bread of the governor, because the bondage was heavy upon this people. Think upon me, my God, for good, according to all that I have done for this people. Chapter 6 Now it came to pass when Zalabala and Tobiah and Jezhim, the Arabian, and the rest of our enemies, heard that I had built the wall and that there was no breach left therein. Though at that time I had not set up the doors upon the gates, that Sanballat and Gisham sent unto me, saying, Come, let us meet together in some one of the villages in the plain of Anno. But they ought and taught to do me mischief. And I sent messengers unto them, saying, I am doing a great work. So that, I, so that I cannot come down, why should the work cease while I leave it and come down to you? Yet they sent unto me four times after this sort, and I answered them after the same manner. Then sent Salbala his servant unto me in like manner, the fifth time with an open letter in his hand wherein was written, It is reported among the heathen. And Gashem said it, that though and the Jews think of to rebel, for which cause thou builtest the wall, that thou mayest be their king, according to these words. And thou has also appointed prophets to preach of thee at Jerusalem, saying, There is a king in Judah, and now shall it be reported to the king according to these words. Come now, therefore, and let us take counsel together. Then I sent unto him, saying, There are no such things done as thou sayest, but thou feignest them out of thy own heart. For they all made us afraid, saying, Their hands shall be weakened from the work that it may not be now therefore O God strengthen my hands afterward I came unto the house of Shemiah the son of Delilah the son of Mahabil who was shut up and he had said let us meet together in the house of God w within the temple let us shut the doors of the temple for they will come to slay thee. Yes, in the night will they come to slay thee. Slay thee. And I said, Should such a man as I flee, and who is there, that being as I am, would go into the temple to save his life? I will not go in. And lo, I perceive that God had not sent him, but that he pronounced his prophecy against me. For Tobiah and Salbala had hired him. Therefore was he hired that I should be afraid and do so, and sin, that they might have matter for an evil report, that they might reproach me. My God, Think thou upon Tobiah and Sabla, according to these wor their works and their prophetess Noah, Noah and the rest of the prophets that would have put me in fear. The wall is finished. So the wall was finished in the twentieth and fifth day of the month Elu 
in fifty and two days. And it came to pass that when all our enemies heard thereof, and all the heathen that were about us saw these things, they were much cast down in their own eyes, for they perceived that this work was wrought of our God. Moreover, in those days the nobles of Judah sent many letters unto Tobiah, and the letters of Tobiah came unto them. For there were many of Judah sworn unto him, because he was the son-in-law of Shaddai, the son of Ara, and his son Jonah had taken the daughter of Mesalam, the son of Berith. Ber also they reported his good deeds before me, and uttered my words to him, and Tobiah sent letters to put me in fear. You spoke my name and life began Breath filled dust and sand Felt you in the cool of the night Saw you in the newly made sky And you were mine Take me back to the garden Where it all began Take me back to the garden We were walking hand in hand My eyes were filled with wonder My heart was filled with peace Lost in the mystery It's all that I could see Take me back to the garden And walk with me Made in your perfect design Pure
And 